Hi, my name is Bob Cruz, president of Checkpoint Technologies. We specialize in quality assurance and software testing. And I speak quite a bit at software conferences, seminars. I provide consulting on the subject of test automation. So I'd like to share with you today a real world scenario on what can be realized, what kind of ROI return on investment can be realized with test automation. So the real case scenario is actually with one of our large clients, a Fortune 500 financial firm, and they had a scenario where the business analyst had to validate 60 out of 600 random records each month. Each of those records had 56 fields. So as you can imagine, since it was a mortgage organization, uh, it was very heavy calculation. Uh, the business an analyst actually had to go in with each field and validate that each column, each of the 56 columns, was calculated correctly. The analysis performed, was performed monthly with no end in sight. It was very high calculation, tedious, and very error prone. The business analyst would spend anywhere from 18 to 24 hours each month to perform this validation. So this was the perfect candidate for test automation. So in automating the process, it took 30 hours to automate. To be honest, that's rather a long time, but we wanted to make sure that the automated process was very robust and very accurate. So it was able to handle a number of different scenarios, error conditions, and the calculations for all of the 56 fields. The direct return on investment, once this process was automated, was that instead of 18 to 24 hours to perform this process, it took 30 minutes to execute and one to three hours to analyze for a total of one and a half to three and a half hours monthly. So that's very impressive. And it can be scheduled to run remotely and unattended. So the business analyst was able to kick off the automated process and then perform the other task. But here's the really impressive thing. Once the process was automated, it did not validate simply 60 records. It actually validated all 600 records. So again, it didn't validate 60 records. It validated all 600 records. The indirect return on investment is that the business analyst was able to perform other tasks. It also obviously decreased errors. There was a reliable and repeatable process in place for this validation. And a greater number of records were validated, so more scenarios, more conditions were actually tested, so there was greater coverage. And that obviously improved the testing process. But let me share with you some actual numbers on the return on investment realized during the first year. So when it was a manual process, the business analyst, based on a, an hourly salary of $30 an hour, uh, it would take them 24 hours, 12 times a year. So manually, the process cost $8,640. And again, that's an annual cost, $8,640. For the automation, the automation cost, the consultant charged $90 an hour. It took 30 hours for a total investment of $2,700. let us also include the analysis and the maintenance on the automated process. And that was something that the business analyst was able to perform because they were trained in the automated solution, which by the way, was HP Quick Test Professional. So the business analyst at $30 an hour and assuming three hours a month for the maintenance, 12 months a year, that came to a cost of $1,080 annually. And then let's make sure that we allocate some of the cost of the software. So the software costs $10,000. So if we allocate 10% of that cost, we're talking about $1,000. So for the automation process, that came to a total of $4,780. But now let's look at the return on investment calculated. So the manual process validated 60 random records at an estimated cost of $8,640. To manually validate 600 records, because remember, that's what the automated process did. So to manually validate 600 records would cost an estimated $86,400 per year. Now we got that by multiplying the $8,640 cost manually for 60 records 
we multiplied that by 10. And that's how we got $86,400 per year. The automated process validates 600 records at a yearly estimated cost of $4,780. So if we subtract $4,780 from, $4 from the $86,400, that gives us an annual return of investment of $81,620. Again, that's an annual return on investment of $81,620. $620 for the first year alone. So as you can see, that's very, very impressive. So you might be asking, well, what is it that made this process so successful in realizing such a significant return on investment in the first year? Well, the key to success, perfect automation candidate. In this particular manual process, it had to be run for every build of an application and it had to be executed monthly. The manual execution was tedious and prone to human error, and the manual execution time was significantly greater than the time to automate and the time to execute the automated test itself. So these are the key criteria that led to such a significant return on investment with this particular automated process. If you would like to discuss this further or have any questions, I welcome you to contact me. Again, the name is Bob Cruz at bcruise at checkpointtech.com. Thank you and have a great day.